Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4 Mod Reviews. Today we are looking at the Dardic Pistol by the Fallout London team. Uh, for the purposes of this mod, we will be crediting Shoe Burglar for the weapon model, Bones for additional modeling and implementation, Dark One 259 for pictures, as well as Francesca Florence for pictures, and Tuesday for the video showing off this weapon. This weapon is currently only available for PC, but we will hope for a port to Xbox soon. So yes, today we have the Dardic Tround, which is a unique pistol for Fallout 4, being as it fires a triangular round, hence Tround. So that means that you will need custom ammunition for this weapon, which can be found at your chemistry bench under the new Dardic section. Right here you can craft 38 T-Rounds, or simplex t rounds the difference between these two is this fires one singular round and this fires a shot of three rounds sort of like a shotgun but three 38 rounds this is the regular and this is the triple rounds This weapon does feature custom reload animations. Very unique way to load those rounds in, and as you saw from them ejecting, they are a very different looking round. If you download the leveled list version of this mod, you can find this weapon among vendors, but not enemies. There is also a unique version of this weapon called the Dardek, which can be found in the Glowing Sea in a very familiar looking police box. Now the Dard deck is quite different from the Dardic pistol in that it fires lasers rather than normal rounds and has a unique sound by Michael Carter. Let's check out the stats of these two weapons. The Dardic pistol with no mods has a base damage of 32, a fire rate of 30, a range of 179, an accuracy of 72, a weight of 1.9 pounds, and a value of 33 caps. The Dardek pistol, which uses energy cell T rounds, has a damage of 90, a fire rate of 10, a range of 203, an accuracy of 74, a weight of 6.2 pounds, and a value of 316 caps. These weapons have a quite a bit of interesting modifications to choose from, so let's take a look. The Dardic Pistol has your standard variety of receivers, light frame, heavy frame, calibrated, hard, and powerful, hair trigger, calibrated, powerful, and advanced. There is no automatic firing mode for this pistol, but that's just fine. You have the options of short barrel, long barrel, and carbine barrel, and this is actually going to turn it into a rifle. Uh, rather than having a stock option, you use the barrel to turn this weapon into a rifle. You can choose between your regular 38 rounds or your tri trounds, which, like I said before, shoots three shots, sort of like a shotgun. You have no sights, standard sights, improved sights, which adds a rear sight to the back, glow sights and glow improved sights, a reflex sight, and medium combat scope, short combat scope, short scope, medium scope, long scope, short night vision scope, medium night vision scope, long night vision scope, and that's actually it. For muzzles, you have no muzzle, compensator, a spiked muzzle brake for increased melee damage, a muzzle brake, suppressor, and ignition muzzle, which actually lights your rounds on fire. For the Dard Deck unique weapon, there are actually no modifications as it is uh, very unique in the way that it functions. As we wrap this up, let's try these two weapons out on some enemies. Alright, this has no problem cleaning up raiders. Let's try it on something a little bit heavier, like a Deathclaw. Okay. 
In a pinch, a fully upgraded Dardic Pistol will save you against the Deathclaw. Let's try out that Dardic unique laser pistol. A little touch and go there, but uh, it did its job pretty well. Alright everybody, that brings this video to a close. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the weapon. If you want to try the weapon out for yourself, the link to the mod page will be in the description below, as well as the link to Fallout London's YouTube channel. If you want to check out progress on Fallout London and how that's coming along, I will be happy to link them in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like. If you want to see more of this in the future, consider subscribing, and you will get all of my videos every time they're uploaded. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.